Hello everyone, my name is Dorian and welcome to another track guide with the F3. We are at Brands Hatch, one of my favorite circuits. And I'm just going to show you guys the lap real quick and then we're going to go over it corner by corner. Definitely going to race here this week, probably make a video about it. If you guys enjoy it, if it helped you at all, leave a like, subscribe and maybe hop over to my Discord as well. Uh, that's it, let's get on track. Okay, so we're coming up to turn number one. Let's look for a breaking point. Now, right over this crest is when I'm going to start breaking. And I'm going to start turning in simultaneously. Around 40% breaks. After the white line is when I'm going to start releasing it into trail breaking. Downshift into fifth. Turning in quite hard. And the car is going to oversteer a little bit. So I'm going to correct it with some throttle and some counter steering. I'm aiming towards uh, the left side of this curb. I don't want to go too high here. I just want to clip it and graze it nicely. Being very aggressive with the throttle here. Uh, you got so much downforce, the car's just going to stick. A little bit of hesitation here was, wasn't necessary, actually. I was just worried about going too wide because I was carrying good speed here. Now, there's two places you want to be on the exit. You either want to be to the right of the red curb or to the left of it. Don't put the car in the middle because that will scrape the bottom and will compromise your exit speed actually you can lose like half a tenth or a tenth here easy just by scraping it so commit either to the right or to the left here now i was about to scrape it and i started scraping a little bit so you can see i corrected it and went all the way to the outside in fact if i opened the wheel a little bit sooner or uh, would have stayed flat out without lifting it would have naturally gravitated me towards the outside here and I wouldn't have to do that. So maybe a tiny bit more speed here to carry. Now I'm going to slowly merge back. The curb is very flat around here so you can merge back and it's not going to scrape. Now we're going to look for a breaking point. going to be right before the 50, right about now. As, as sort of the dirt here kind of disappears and merges into the grass. That might be a good indication for you guys. Still not breaking. Let's see. Okay. So the orange stuff here, I'm not really looking at it, but you can see the orange stuff. Uh, don't use the shadow, but you can look at the bridge. That, that'll be sort of your indication. I just look at the 50 and sort of know when I need to break. And I'm going to break very hard for a very short period of time because I am going uphill. So the car is not going to lock up if you break in a straight line. As soon as I hit this crest, though, I'm going to really release it. Not turning in yet, I'm, I'm being as smooth as I can. As I hit the crest, I'm releasing the brake and starting to turn in. But again, not a lot of input yet. I want to stay wide here. I don't want to use it like, I don't want to take this corner like a double apex. I want to take it like a very late apex. So I'm on the outside and I'm just turning in now. The car is neutral for a little bit, maybe half a second before I start giving it a little bit of throttle, maybe a second even more <laughs> maybe a second or a second and a half before i give it a lot of throttle immediately into 50 percent a lot of input here i'm trying to rotate the car with the throttle i'm trying to prevent the understeer that's that's the main goal for this corner to prevent the understeer that's why the entry is so smooth and you're not turning in too early you want to carry the speed from the outside and get a good exit so a lot of throttle on the exit will prevent a little bit of all that understeer 
and from 50 to 100% as soon as I know I can open up the wheel again. Carrying the speed all the way to the outside, using the curb or the net, whatever it is, and we're through. Up to fourth gear and the back down into third. I'm going to start breaking right around here. My indication is, uh, I don't know when my indication here is. Past the 50. When I, when I get past the 50, I know I need to start breaking. I don't break at the 50, I break after. But when, I, when I'm past it, I know I need to start breaking. I sort of look here uh, towards this net. You can actually use more of the road than I have. So I was really putting two wheels on a wide line, but you can put two wheels on this net here. There, you can see there's a difference in the in the texture, and that's that that's when you know you can use the the grass, so to speak. So you can use a little bit more of the track here on entry and the third gear. Trying to turn in late in order to carry the speed. I'm just clipping this apex, and I'm being very aggressive on the fall as soon as I hit it, or even quite a little bit before. Turning in and increasing it. As I hit the apex, I go flat out using as much of the outside as possible. Not a problem. You can actually use more. Like, you can use all the way through here. No off track, no loss of grip. And going back to the right. Now, looking for a breaking point here, there's uh, there's two, uh, two methods really. I use third gear here and I break kind of late. If you use fourth, you can use fourth. You just gotta break a little earlier and definitely try to carry the speed from the end side. So you start very wide here. We're gonna break after the 50. I would say around 10, 15 meters before this curb right here. And we're very, very wide. I'm gonna start turning very hard as soon as I hit this curb. Trail breaking into it. Sort of modulate, modulating the brake a little bit. Trying to get as much input as possible. When I'm close and I want to hug the inside here, I want to stay on it. As soon as I know the car is sort of going to, it's going to steer a little too much towards it. I'm going to correct it with a little bit of throttle. And bam, I'm 100%. The car is going to go wide. Third gear. Now, when if you're carrying fourth, you want to... You want to try to break a little bit earlier, uh, a little bit earlier, and carry more speed from the outside, and that's also possible. It depends on the track conditions and the conditions of your rear tires. If your rear tires are kind of shot and or maybe not in the best conditions, uh, then you might be able to carry fourth gear a little bit easier, and you're not going to lose speed. So that's pretty cool. Now avoid the curb on the exit. That's one thing I would uh, let you guys know. Uh, this curb, I got a bit lucky here. Like I went over it, but it can really upset the car a little bit more than that. I think I would have ruined the lap completely, but even even the way I clipped it now, it's just not the best of ideas. Uh, probably uh, probably best to try to avoid it altogether or maybe clip it a little bit. Flat out into sixth gear and basically no brakes here. I'm not sure I break here at all. Maybe a tiny bit and start turning in after the 50. You can see that we got the 50 sign right here and i'm gonna stay flat out as i turn in as if i'm gonna take this corner completely flat out and i'm gonna start lifting uh i guess right around here don't really have an indication you get the feel for it once you do a few laps where the understeer kind of kicks in so i'm gonna lift completely i'm not gonna lift all at once i'm gonna lift sort of gently and go back to it a bit aggressive so 40 percent immediately and then 80% immediately and then back to 100. I'm using the throttle to sort of rotate the car as I hit the apex. And letting it go to the outside. Sort of making micro corrections with the wheel. Clipping this curb or not clipping but mounting this curb a little bit. And we're through. Now very late breaking point. You want to cut the curb on the inside here. And you want to use the curb on the outside as much as possible. Not real indication here. I mean, you, you look at you can look at the 50. I just don't recommend it because you don't want to be looking left when you're turning right. So the 50 is sort of in your peripheral. It's a good indication on when you need to break. So right before it. But I'm looking at the curb. I'm already looking at the apex here, and that's my indication. So this is when when I start breaking. 
uh find your sweet spot if if you if you can manage to look at the 50 might make you more consistent i rather look at the apex and i sort of know where not when to take it now i'm gonna break around 40 percent immediately release it trail break just a tiny bit to keep the front end in check i'm cutting this corner but not a lot you can cut it quite a bit more let's look at it from the outside just for a sec you can see i'm cutting it but you can put two wheels right here so you can cut it a bit more even but my main goal here is to carry the speed and using all of the road on the outside i was already flat out and i started hesitating a little bit sort of uh to mitigate the understeer let's see when i return to overthrawal so as i know i'm gonna hit the apex i'm gonna be very aggressive go to 100 percent i hesitated a little bit probably for the best here because i really used all of the curve i was kind of understeering towards the outside the car is bouncing around using all the track and <laughs> more than let's look at it from the outside yeah that's pretty much as much as you can use it maybe uh, i don't know an inch a few centimeters to the left more but that's pretty much it and flat out through it again this is a very fast corner the more you cut the inside curb and the more of the curb you use on the outside here the more speed you'll get that applies for the next one as well going back and staying on the left here no no need to take it like a double apex and six gear and i'm gonna stay in six gear here let the car go all the way to the outside sort of uh let the car go diagonally to the outside and then i'm gonna break a very short period of time into six almost no trail breaking i'm just letting the downforce do the work and i'm already back on the throttle i'm gonna cut this like a madman there's no off track look at how much car i got on the curb here so you can actually cut a bit more man i could have could have used more of the curb maybe because i returned to the throttle so aggressively the car kind of went wide you can actually use more of the curb here you can put the car right around here but the more you put it the more it's gonna bounce and get upset so there's a balance there uh potentially the fastest line is to cut it as much as possible so you know it's it's up to you and how comfortable you are in the setup i'm using vrs here by the way and i'm back to 80 percent, then back to 100 using all of the all of the road on the outside making sure i'm uh i'm putting maybe two wheels two left wheels on the white line here not not recommended if i if i cut the curb on the inside there a little bit more it wouldn't have been so uh so close i could have stayed towards the middle a bit more now going back to the right i braked a little bit too late here cost me a tenth so keep that in mind breaking a tiny bit earlier here would have been better so i start breaking here because i was carrying a lot of speed i was going 204 but carrying this much speed i would break right here that 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 would give me a tenth easy i was really upset as i was doing the lab i was like no why did i ruin this corner now i took it i believe in fourth gear and yeah just trying to hug the inside as i'm trail breaking and bam right on throttle no hesitation no nothing just let the car go to the outside can mount this curb a little bit don't put half of the car on it that will really make it beach it will chuck you out to the outside so keep that in mind and straighten the car out to the left here for the final corner let's look for a breaking point so right before the 50 i imagine right at the 50 as it seems breaking around 40 45 percent releasing into trail break fifth gear I think I turned in a little too early here. Maybe braked a bit too much. I think there's another tenth here. We braked uh, a little bit later, maybe, or a little bit less braking, and turn in slightly later. You can carry more speed here for sure. But very aggressive on the exit. As I hit the throttle, I straightened the car out. At this point, where the car is now, it's gonna want to oversteer after about five or six laps. Be ready for that. Do. 10 15 laps let the tires wear out that the rear is overheat and feel where it does that and already correct the wheel before it starts happening because it's gonna want to do that every time if you and if you lift here you're gonna lose a lot of time so you just want to do it with the throttle 
and letting the car go to the outside and back to the inside take the shortest route that's actually going to give us a little bit of time that could be like half a tenth especially if you're qualifying and that's it that's going to give us a 116 555 hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like subscribe let me know in the comments what you think about it and maybe hop over to my discord as well that's it have a great day see you in the next video bye bye